The nightmare of a fallout continues as companies continue to try and restore systems following a global IT outage. The software failure brought the world to a standstill as it impacted airlines, banks and 911 systems. ABC's Jacqueline Lee has the latest on restoration efforts. It was an unfortunate way to kick off a Friday. Computer chaos throughout the country and around the world as systems used by banks, emergency services and airports simply stopped working. It's, it's unheard of. It's shocking. I didn't think this could happen, but I guess anything's possible. The meltdown unfolded overnight after CrowdStrike, the world's second largest cybersecurity company, says it issued a routine Microsoft Windows software update. But the update had a bug in it, which caused the outage. CEO George Kurtz apologizing. We're deeply sorry for the impact that we've caused to customers, to travelers, to anyone affected by this, including our uh, companies. At airports, frustrated passengers were stranded with information displays showing the so-called blue screen of death error message. Some airlines even resorting to handwritten boarding passes. Only 47% of flights departed on time today, with 57% having a 30-minute delay or greater in the U.S., according to global aviation analytics firm Cerium. 911 systems in multiple states disrupted, with the Department of Homeland Security reporting delays for patients at hospitals. ABC News found at least 20 hospital systems were impacted, some canceling elective procedures Friday. We are vulnerable as a country, and of course, the more interconnected we are uh, when it comes to travel and medical care and emergency services and military, the more vulnerable we are to this type of uh, threat. It is something we should take uh, extremely serious, as serious as we take air and missile defense, for example. Many highlighting that while CrowdStrike is meant to prevent cyber attacks, it created an unintentional one. Kurtz later writing on X. As this incident is resolved, you have my commitment to provide full transparency on how this occurred and the steps we're taking to prevent anything like this from happening again. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles.